welcome to my Lotor makeup tutorial. Uh, this makeup took me a long time, so I hope it's useful for you guys to have in a tutorial form. To start, I'm just cleaning my face. And then I'm gonna go in with some toner and moisturizer just to protect my face from the face paint. So this face paint is by Mehran, and it's probably supposed to be used more for special effects makeup, but here I'm using it to paint my whole face. It's alcohol activated, you can do that, or water. Alcohol tends to stay on better just because you won't sweat it off as easily. I may end up using a different makeup later in the future, so if you want to go for something that's more of a paint, or that's oil-based or something like that, then go for it. This is just what I'm using for this makeup right now. So to apply it, I'm just going overall generally with a makeup sponge that is sprayed with alcohol and then dipped in the face paint. Now I'm going in with a makeup brush with alcohol to get a thicker coat applied on to go over my base coat. For this, I'm just using a tapping motion for an oil-based paint or something. You can use an X motion to cover things evenly, but for this, a tapping motion works best. And I'm trying to apply it evenly all over, but this makeup goes on really slowly and not very even, so it'll take a lot of coats to get it where you like it. Make sure to get the insides of your ears. This may feel weird, but if it's pink on the inside and purple on the outside, that'll look weirder. The neck is kind of the hardest part for me, and I didn't spend a lot of time doing it here. Uh, had I gone back and done it again, I would have done a thicker coat on the neck. I'm going in with some purple eyeliner just on my waterline and right underneath it to fill in the gaps that I've missed with makeup. And I'm just barely outlining the shape of his eye here with the purple as well. Then now I'm going in with some dark purple eyeshadow that I'm using to contour with. So I'm just contouring my face the way I normally would contour it. Uh, you can contour it however you would like. And I'm going in with this shade on my eyes as well to make them look more sunken in. And then I'm going in under my jawline to really give it a defined look. Now I'm blending it out with a, the dry brush that I was using earlier. Instead of putting it in any more makeup, I'm just dry brushing around to blend my contour. Now I'm going in with more of that same dark eyeshadow and doing my nose contour. And then once again, dry brushing. And now I'm touching up underneath my eyes with the face paint. Then I'm going in with just a normal black eyeliner and just creating a winged shape. I'm also going in and accentuating the point at the tip of your eye. Now I'm going in with some pencil black eyeliner and just basically coating my waterline. Normally I don't do top waterline eyeliner for most cosplays, but for this one I think it's kind of important to cover up that pink look you get around your eye. Now I'm doing a very light purple shimmery eyeshadow as my highlighter, and I'm just applying it to my cheeks, my chin, my forehead, and the bridge of my nose. And dry brushing that with the same technique I used earlier. Now I'm going in and darkening the eyes a little bit more and, and covering up anything that may have been missed by the face paint. I got this liquid lipstick that dries matte from Sephora, it's Kat Von D again, and it matches my face paint really well so I just go over my lips with that. Now I'm using a white eyeliner pencil to do my eyebrows and this does take quite a bit of eyeliner so I had to sharpen this a couple of times in the process. And I'm just drawing on the shape as I like, and sort of as they are in the animated series, but mostly just covering up my existing eyebrows. And remember, your eyebrows are sisters, not twins. No purple. 
This is key stage. And I'm going in with a little bit of mascara just to make my eyelashes black. And now I'm going in with the same dark eyeshadow and just patting that on my lips to give them a bit of dimension. Now it's time for the wig. This wig was styled by my girlfriend Mishkali. Uh, she got it from Epic Cosplay Wigs. If you're interested, go check out the tutorial on her channel. I'm gluing the sideburns down with spirit gum and coloring in the little bit of hair you can see with the same stuff I used on my eyebrows. Now here I am touching up my ears just to make sure that there's no pink bleeding through before I put the ears on. And I'm just applying these with spirit gum once again. These are actually elf ears that I've placed backwards. If you'd like to find out how I painted them, there's another video on my channel. And now for the creme de la creme, the hair piece. And you're done! Thank you all for watching and have fun making yourself into your own special purple boy. If you're interested in the wig, go check out Mishkali's channel. And if you're interested in how I painted the ears, you can check out that video on my channel as well. <laughs> get out of Lotor's makeup tutorial. Yeah, get a box. Oh my god, Lotor's a box. <laughs> I get it, you don't like humans. I get out of here, you crim!